So I'm going to show you how you can create what's called a book document to combine together essentially multiple InDesign documents. First of all, I'll go to File, then to New, and then choose Book. So from my main project folder, where I can see my InDesign documents and my subfolders of, say, links. I'm going to name this Esquire May, and then click on Save. What that will then do is you'll see, of course, in design and you'll see a new panel. That's the book panel titled the way that you've just saved the name of it. And we need to add some documents. So you can go down to the bottom right hand side and click on the plus to add documents. It should take you back to the folder that we were just viewing. Notice that the grayed out file is an INDB. That stands for InDesign book. And of course, you can't put a book within a book. So you can only select InDesign or IDML files from here. I've got my publication split into two halves, internal A and internal B. So I'm just going to click and drag across both of those two files and then click on open. And it will add them into your document in alphanumerical order. So here, because it's named A, it's the first document and it recognizes that it's composed of one to 64 pages. The second part of the publication, internal B, also tells us that it's starting on page one to 58. We need to synchronize this document. So if I hover over and double left click on Esquire internal B, it will open up the InDesign file for us. We need to make sure that once internal A finishes on page 64, that internal B starts on page 65. So the numbering seamless. So you'll have to go down to the pages panel, hover your cursor over the tiny triangle above the first page and then right click and that will reveal two options. And we need from here number and section options. You'll notice that the page numbering is set to start at page number one. That's no good. We need to change that to automatic page numbering. Hover over and click on OK. You'll then find that it does automatically update. And in this document here, if I go to the very first page, page 65 in now, you'll see that it does follow in order. So it will synchronize your InDesign generated page numbers that you'll add to your document. Once you've got your main files into your book in the order that you need them, you'll have to save your book by going down to the bottom of the panel and clicking on the save a book icon, which incidentally is the only place inside of InDesign that you'll be able to save your book. Any subsequent changes that you need to capture will also have to be done by clicking on the same icon. You can close your book by clicking on the X at the top left hand side. If you wish to open it back up again, then you will have to go to the file menu, choose open, and then select your book from your project folder where you saved it and click on open. So that's how you can combine multiple InDesign documents into one publication in the form of a book.